Thank you for checking out this Software Keep video. At Software Keep, we don't just sell you software. We want to help you get the most out of it. Today, we're going to take a look at the Word Preferences menu. There are a lot of things you can do to customize Word the way you like it uh, right out of the box. Notice there are three categories, Authoring and Proofing Tools, Output and Sharing, and Personal Settings. Let's start with personal settings. Any information you'd like embedded in your document, you put that right here. Your name, your initials, you can put your phone number, your email address, any of this information that will be embedded in your documents and whoever receives your document will be able to see that information. Here you can set passwords and other security measures. Here you can determine where you'd like files to be saved by default. And here you can set controls for privacy. Up here on Save, you can choose the document file format you would like to be the default save. And you can embed fonts. We talk about that in another video. Here's something important. Turn on Auto Save by default. I think this is checked by default when you open Word. Uh, if not, make sure it is. This is how you keep yourself from losing any work. I've got auto save on and I have it save every 10 minutes. You can uh, increase or decrease that. 10 minutes seems to work well. You, I allow background saves. This means it'll save while you're working and I also save auto recover info in case of a crash uh, the next time I open Word my most recently saved information will be there I've lost very little in a very long time so that's that's these features in place really keep you from losing work here you set up your print options uh, you can uh, print background colors and images, reverse print order, just different, you know, if you want to print hidden text, it's all here. Track changes, this is where you customize the colors you want to use for the people you share documents with, for the markup. This helps you uh, be able to see at a glance who is making what changes on the documents that you're sharing with people. General settings, you can choose a uh, color theme for your word. You can choose uh, to play sounds or not play sounds, to uh, automatically update links when you open files, just some general stuff. Great menu. View. These are the items you'd like to see when you open your Word document. You've got your document open. You want to see these uh, items in, you want these items visible in your document. You can also look at hidden text, uh, invisible stuff. This is all non-printing, but you can choose to look at it if you want. I don't like to look at it in my document. I figure it was hidden for a reason, so I leave it that way. Right here is where you will customize your ribbons and toolbars. On the left, you can choose commands from a lot of different groups. You can select what you want, move it to the right side under the tab that you would like it to appear under. And again, uh, you will use the arrow to move it. If you want to take something off of a toolbar or ribbon, you find what you want to take off and you will be able to move that off. You can drag and drop to reorder. You can customize your quick access toolbar, uh, which is the toolbar you find up at the top here. Um, that's your uh, most frequently used commands. So you can really customize that the way you want it. Editing. This is where you tell Word how to behave when you start typing. For instance, if you select text and you start typing, 
I have it delete the selected text when I type. If you uncheck that, it will uh, just insert the new text. Um, you'll have to manually delete. I just like to go ahead and check that. You can drag and drop text edit and all kinds of different uh, options you have there available to you. Spelling and grammar. This is all default. This is the way it comes. Um, I want to ignore words in uppercase. This is the way it comes in Word. That's the way I like it set up. You can choose your dictionaries here, advanced language settings. I check grammar with my spelling. I do not check grammar as I type, so I leave that unchecked. Um, so this is how you set up your spell checker and grammar checker. Autocorrect. Anything you would like Word to change as you start typing, whether it's special characters you want in there, whether it's typos. Word has a list of common typos here that it'll correct for you when you start making them. Uh, if, say, you want to put your own entries in this. For instance, if you want three periods back to back to be an ellipsis, you just type those three periods under replace and you want to replace it with the ellipsis. Hit that and it's telling me that entry is already in there, but that's how you would add it to the um, autocorrect list. I don't want to mess with it. And these are by default checked I go ahead and leave them checked as you can see there are um, other things you can uh, work with here auto you here this is auto format bulleted list fractions hyphens you know those are auto format things that you use a lot word will auto format them I do not use the East Asian languages uh, that turns on features for editing Chinese or Japanese. I don't do that, so I don't use it. If you need it, it's there. As you can see, there are a lot of ways to uh, customize your word right out of the box. And uh, we hope you've learned something here. If you enjoyed the video, please click like, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell so you're notified when we come up with new videos for you to look at. We look forward to seeing you again.